Hello ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, welcome back to another OBS streaming tutorial. It's now a new day and my voice is a bit better and well rested, and let's start covering some new topics, shall we? In this video we're talking about OBS Multiplatform, or OBS Studio. If you don't know what that is, it is a new version of OBS that is built from the ground up to be brand new and it kicks ass. And I've been covering it in an extensive series of videos. You can find the link to the playlist for all of those videos and lots of really helpful information in the description down below. Down there you'll also find a link to our own Twitch page where you should come follow us and support our live streams and things like that. In this video we're going over the custom profiles in OBS and what you can do with them. So you may have noticed during my interface tour or at any point in time, up in the top little menu bar here there is a profiles button. This menu is for setting up different profiles of your streaming and recording settings. By default, when you're messing around, it's just called an untitled because you haven't set one up yet. But we're actually going to go ahead and set up a couple different profiles, and I'm going to walk you through the process and show why it's advantageous to do so. So to make a new profile, make sure you have OBS Multiplatform open. Go to Profile and click New. For this profile, we're going to call this one Twitch because it's going to be a streaming profile to stream to twitch.tv. Now all that did was make a secondary profile to untitled. And in the previous untitled video or in our previous videos for our untitled profile, we set up some recording settings for our file output. But now that we made a new profile, these are all reset. So we're going to configure them specifically for going to Twitch. We're going to set up here streaming services Twitch and we're going to set up our server and all that jazz so I'm gonna set up my settings here and again if you want to know how to set all this up check out the other videos okay next I'm going to make another profile this is gonna be a recording profile so I'm gonna to go to profile new and call it local recording 1080p 60 because this is gonna be set up for recording 60 frames per second video and I'm gonna go back in my settings and set this profile up for a local recording and then I'm going to set up one more profile here for YouTube gaming streaming. I can do as many as I want pretty much, and then you can also duplicate or rene rename your profile. So if I go back to Untitled, I can go to Profile Rename and call this Tutorial Test. And now that's what the profile is called, and it shows it up in the title bar here. But I'm going to make one more for YouTube gaming, and then I'm going to show you, you know, what it does. Okay, now I have multiple profiles set up. So I'm currently on the YouTube gaming profile. So if I go to my settings and then go to stream, it has my YouTube setup here and then my bitrate and things like that for streaming to YouTube. And then if I go to profile and switch to Twitch, it's going to have things set up for Twitch. If I go to profile and click tutorial test, it's going to have the original settings that we messed with in previous videos. So this way you get to keep a bunch of different settings without having to figure it out every time you go to stream or record and end up screwing something up because that's what's going to happen to be honest. I mean it happened to me many many times is if you're only going to try to use one profile every time you go change the settings to like record or stream you're going to flip it on sometime and find out that you have the wrong settings on and your recording or stream or whatever turned out to not work because it wasn't how it was supposed to be set. And so this makes it really easy to manage a bunch of different ways of streaming and recording. That way you can have a separate profile for Twitch and for recording because generally you stream in a lower quality than you record. So you want to have different profiles set up for it. And they have it really easy here. And then if I don't want this tutorial test profile anymore, since I'm not actually going to use it for anything, I can go to profile remove and hit yes. And say you have something set up perfectly for streaming. Uh, but you want to be able to tell it to go to a different place. Like my Twitch, box, Twitch profile would be perfect for also going to Hitbox. Well, then I can go to Profile, Duplicate, and we'll call this one Hitbox. And it's going to be the exact same profile. But then I can tell it down here to go to Hitbox.tv instead and copy my stream key over. And now I have the same profile set up, but for Hitbox. It works out really, really well. That's the gist of Profiles in OBS multi-platform there will be a secondary video to this for scene collections it's a very similar setup but f to apply to your scenes and sources instead of profile or instead of your actual settings I'll cover that in the next video I do hope this video has been helpful for you if it was be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel uh, check out our other videos check out all the links in the description below come follow us on twitch at twitch.tv slash eposvox 
We haven't been streaming for the past week or two because I've been recovering from wisdom teeth removal surgery, and we're going to be moving next week potentially, but we are developing a stream schedule that's actually going to be pretty cool because we're going to be streaming pretty regularly. I don't know why my offline Im There we go. Now my offline image is showing. Um, and we have lots of links down here, uh, but hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel, that way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next epic tech video.